The HTC U12 Plus looks like an ordinary phone, but don't be fooled. You'll know the second you press on the buttons, squeeze it, or tap the sides, that HTC is trying to do something different. The first clue might be the back of the blue version, which lets you take a peek into its innards. But the second you try to turn the phone on or off, or raise the volume, you know something isn't quite right. The buttons you see on the side don't actually press in, they sense your pressure and buzz with haptic feedback to let you know that the volume's been adjusted or that the phone is powering on. To me, this is a heavy-handed touch that frankly feels weird enough to send chills up and down my spine. However, HTC says it's going to update the software in a couple weeks to make the haptic feedback feel more natural. Luckily, some of the phone's other features are more successful. Like Google Pixel's two phones and last year's HTC U11, this phone has squeezable sides that you can customize in any number of ways to launch apps like Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa, or perform tasks within an app, like your camera or a game. A new feature keeps the screen from dimming or rotating when you hold the device, which is useful when you're reading laying down or reclined. And a double tap on the pressure sensitive sides can shrink the screen for one handed use, pull up the shortcuts menu, go back, and so on. As for the rest, this is a flagship model that has Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor inside. It runs the current version of Android with HTC software on top. I'm not a fan of the outdated look and feel of the HTC Sense software, and battery life is on the leaner side. Like most phones, you'll need to charge it once a day. The 12 and 16 megapixel dual camera more than holds its own against the top tier players. Colors can come out a little bit darker with fewer distinct details, but you can adjust the lighting in the shot and edit after the fact to improve the picture. On the front, two 8 megapixel cameras left more of my hair intact when taking a portrait selfie. With its 6 inch Super LCD screen, the U12 Plus is a larger device, just about the size of the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. It's water resistant but it has no headphone jack and doesn't support wireless charging. The U12 Plus does come with U-Sonic earbuds that have a USB-C connection, but you will need to get yourself a dongle if you wanna use your own wired earbuds. There's also a clear case that comes with the phone. I like the creativity that HTC is bringing to its phones, but I think it takes a certain type of person to make the most out of tapping and squeezing the U12 Plus in everyday life.